Hey everyone, this is Direwolf20, and today's tutorial is uh, some of the more advanced features of the generator, and some more details on exactly how the generator works. Um, the generator that you've seen so far has basically just been me putting um, some coal into the generator, as shown by basically doing this. Coal goes in, and it produces 5 energy units per tick. So you can see I took the coal out, gave myself an EU reader here, and we can see that it's basically creating 5 energy units per tick. But the question you should be asking yourself is, how much energy does one piece of coal create? Well, that's actually a really good question. One piece of coal will create 4,000 energy. And the same for charcoal, as a matter of fact. So charcoal and coal are the same with this regard. So basically, 4,000 EU is created when you cook a piece of coal. You can also throw wooden planks in there, and you'll get 750 units of energy. You can throw in all kinds of stuff, as a matter of fact. Um, you can throw in saplings. They'll give you 250 units of energy. And you can even throw in reed and cactus, and that'll give you a small amount of energy. So if I throw in a cactus here, I get 125. Not very much, but hey, you know what? For cactus, something that's easy to farm, and reed, something that's really easy to farm, uh, yeah, not too shabby. So why don't I just prove this to you guys real quick by giving myself a uh, MFSU here, grabbing some of this glass fiber cable, and just hooking this guy up directly. So he's currently empty. Let's throw one piece of coal in and see how much energy we get. Okay, the generator just ran out, and we've got precisely 4,000 units of energy. So, now we can knock this guy off here, place him back down, and we'll see that he's empty again. And I'll go ahead and place one wood plank in. How much energy are we going to get now? It'll be 750. Ta-da! And just in case you guys don't believe me for some reason, I'll go ahead and put a uh, sapling in there. That should be 250. And a piece of cactus or reed. Um, let's see, there's some cactus. I'll throw that in. This guy will create 125. That's how we got 375. So, uh, there you go. Now, I mentioned the coal fuel cell. I'll show you that once I create one. Um, so those are the lower tier units of energy that you can create. I'm also going to show you guys how to create a fuel of, uh, can of fuel. And that will be able to hold uh, 43,200 units of energy. So actually very close to 11 times the amount of energy that you can get out of a single piece of coal. And to craft this coal fuel cell, you're going to need six pieces of coal. So basically for six pieces of coal, you get 11 times the energy. However, it's a little bit complicated to craft and requires a couple different machines and a process to go through, so it's up to you if you really want to go through the process. Do you want to spend time and, you know, almost, uh, you know, double the amount of fuel that you're able to get out of this coal? Or do you want to just be lazy and throw a stack in there? Really, the choice is yours. So, um, without further ado, let's get working on coal fuel cells. I should also mention that there are biofuel cells um, that can be crafted with plants. I'm not going to go into these in the tutorial, but just be aware that they're very similar with regard to um, how to make them as to the coal fuel cells. Just look up on the wiki how to do it. So a coal fuel cell can be created by taking some of the coal dust that we created earlier and combining it with some water. So if we just place one piece of coal dust with a bucket of water, we get a hydrated coal dust. You can also, in a crafting table, place eight pieces of coal dust with a bucket of water and get eight hydrated coal dust. Very cool. So I want to just create a little bit more of that stuff. That's hydrated coal dust. Okay, hydrated coal dust needs to be placed inside a compressor to get hydrated coal clumps. So hydrated coal dust becomes hydrated coal. Your hydrated coal gets combined with an empty cell to get a hydrated coal cell, which can then go into an extractor 
to get a coal fuel cell. The coal fuel cell then needs to be used in a canning machine. As you can see, you can't just put a coal fuel cell in a generator. So real quick, we can craft a canning machine, like so, with tin on the outside. Gives you a canning machine. And we can craft a fuel can with the following pattern. Empty fuel can. come over here to our low voltage wires, pop down a canning machine, okay, oh sorry that was medium voltage, let me get myself another canning machine because I was being stupid there, okay got myself another canning machine, let's hook this up to our low voltage, yeah much better. Uh, basically this works by placing your empty fuel can in the bottom and a coal fuel cell on the top and you can see it processes and I guess I can put multiple ones up here and let's see what happens as you can see it's uh, using up and it winds up using six of these coal fuel cells to create a full fuel can okay so I put 12 in there it used six and it created a filled fuel can Okay, now that I've got my filled fuel can, well, I'll just go ahead and drop it in here. And you can see it gives me back my empty fuel can. So I can take that back and go fill it up again at some point. And it's going to go ahead and fill up my generator a bit. So let's see how much it gets. I'll uh, clip the video here and wait for this generator to fill up because it is going to run for a bit. So you can see the fire has barely died down in the generator and we've already hit the 10,000 mark. Well, guys, I've been waiting actually quite a while now for this generator finish up for you all to see and we just about to pass the 40,000 mark and if you remember what I said earlier in the video this thing can store 43,200 um, energy so again about 11 times as much energy as the um, coal itself uh, and that's for only six pieces of coal a few pieces of tin I mean yeah it takes a little bit of effort to create these things but if you're savvy with build craft you can very easily create an automated uh, production line for uh, creating these items. And if you really want to go power in your um, rooms with coal, this is definitely the way to go if you're looking for efficiency. Now I did say uh, 43,200, but uh, I forgot to empty this thing before I started. So remember we had 375. So that's where the extra 375 energy is coming from. So 43,200 from that uh, fuel cell. And the generator is now empty and that's why we stopped. So. If you want to go with solar, that's a very good option because it's basically uh, set it and forget it. You just, you know, don't pay attention. It just doesn't create much and it does take a while to get started. Um, these guys, the generators, do a really nice job. It's really up to you how you want to power your factories. So, this is Direwolf20 signing off.